Eric, we have a question from Chloe Luisa. And Chloe asks, what goes into a successful series pitch and what are some tips to really sell your ideas? So what I've learned is that a successful series pitch, it focuses on the series, not just the pilot. That's one of the big things because people tend to like come up with an idea for what's going to happen in the pilot episode and they want to pitch that in great detail, but they may not really understand what a typical episode would look like after the pilot. And so the other thing that writers tend to do is they feel like, oh, I know the long arcs of this show. It's going to start here and in season five, it's going to be here. And these are these things that are going to take many, many episodes to play out. And while there is a place for that in a pitch, I think writers tend to err too much on the side. Writers that are just kind of starting out on the side of those kind of long arcs. And what can be more important and is easy for them to miss is yeah, but what does a typical episode look like? What's a typical one hour or half hour of this show? I think that's what the listener is kind of trying to most understand because they're picturing something that there's going to be these endless episodes of, hopefully. And each episode has to have its own beginning, middle, and end and not just be a small piece of a longer story. It has to have its own story. In fact, it probably is going to have multiple stories in it because a typical TV episode has maybe two, three, four different stories going on with a different main character who has a problem or a goal that week. And that's going to build and escalate over the course of that half hour or hour. And at the end, it's going to resolve. And so you're kind of coming up with a template of what a typical episode looks like when you come up with a pitch. So you want to be able to communicate that template in a compelling way so that they can sort of imagine, okay, there's going to be endless hours of this and I can see the kind of things that are going to happen in a typical episode, the kind of problems and conflicts that are going to be the grist for stories, which characters are going to get stories, what are those characters' main life issues, problems, desires, and conflicts that are going to lead to stories because a story is a problem, a desire, a conflict that someone is actively trying to resolve, right? That's usually building and complicating and then reaching some sort of climax before it's resolved. So a lot of it is also about character is you want obviously have compelling characters that feel believable and entertaining and you know, some somewhat original that, but they, they need something to do. They need something that's going to create endless hell for them essentially. So what is the hell? That's almost like the biggest question. What puts your characters in hell? What's the thing they're grappling with every single week? I mean, Ozark, the cartel is going to kill us <laughs> unless we do this very difficult thing and we might get killed or go to jail trying to do that thing. So it's like figuring out what that is. And that's the main thing you're communicating. There's this big sort of problematic situation that affects everyone on this show that everyone's involved in in some way. And then we have these specific interesting characters who are part of that, who have their own personal problems and conflicts along the way. Um, so understanding all of that and being able to communicate that to me is kind of like the core of any pitch for a series. So you're saying most beginning writers may, they want to write, let's just use this as an example, the pilot episode of Big Little Lies, but then they don't figure out all the other episodes and all the stories and arcs and three acts that are going to be in those other episodes. Yeah, it's not that you have to figure out every episode. That's like way too much work to be doing in advance, like every story in every episode. It's more that you need that sort of franchise is a word that's sometimes used, which is the endlessly repeatable story generating situation, right? So you want to know something about what's happening in your pilot and something about where things might be evolving over the course of, say, the first season or first and second season or whatever. But almost more important than that is understanding how in a typical hour or a typical half hour of this series, here are who I, here, here's the, the main characters that are mostly going to be the ones we're following. And here's the kind of stuff they're involved in, the kind of problems that they're trying to resolve. You don't have to know what they are specifically, but you have to kind of have a sense of what they're made from, you know, what's causing stories to happen, you know, every week on this show. What is that thing that's that's creating endless conflict, difficulty, and the desire to resolve a problem? And that's, you know, to me, that's the main thing that tells me what a show is about. Just like in a feature film, the log line is basically telling you what's the main problem, the main external difficulty that the person we're following is trying to resolve. That's really important. And it's going to take the whole movie to resolve. It's about the problem at the center of the story. So it's really the same thing with a series, only it's 
it's, it's got to be ongoing stories that are going to go on and on and on. Many stories, dozens and dozens, even hundreds of stories you want to feel like this has the potential for.